the um the last thing i want to do now is um play around with materiality and see how that um influences the amount of light in this space i'm going to use the interior light shelf only for now and i'm going to use this this view so i'm a little closer to the facade okay so if we're going to the 3d editor and we're going to look at a perspective of our design we're going to turn off the cameras um let's just really quickly check um, the materials what's the what's the floor remember i'm hitting the uh, space tab in order to cycle through the different selections floor um i'm going to materials this is a timber floor carpeted suspended material properties okay that's this kind of brownish color um maybe i want a different color floor i want a um what do i want How about a kind of carpet that looks like that? Then uh, walls. They are this strange yellow, and I want them to be, um, you know, a very bright gray, and maybe even a little brighter. But uh, somehow it suggests that this is unrealistic. It's that bright. Um, so I'm going to really make it just like that. Apply changes. And I'm going to do the same thing for the side walls. This should already be. So this is already updated. The internal color, and that's all I care about for now. Um, okay. Great. What is the ceiling? It's plaster, plaster insulation suspended. Gray. Fine. Um, the key value for uh, light redirection is the reflectivity, 0 0.7. So one would be a 100% reflection. So this is a 70% reflection. That's pretty high. Um, let's look at the light shelves. Light shelves are here, so I'm going to the layer um, light shelves interior, select all objects on, go to their quark. Okay, um, I think this was for the default. Um, so that color, the ref reflectivity is 0 0.76. Um, let's, let's make them fabric. Maybe they're kind of fabric panels. 0 0.5 um, not a very high reflectivity but let's just um, let's just see what um, we should actually do the columns um, column one column two select objects on and check their material the plasterboard partition they're also um, this light gray so that's that's all good what are the mullions mullions uh, stainless steel so it has a pretty high reflectivity so that's fine and the last thing I want to check is the um, is the solid pieces of the facade so I'm going to select all of those um, their cork okay so um, I think that they should be. Why don't we make them stainless steel? It's a, s a strange design, but never mind. Um, they're the same color as the mullion, so that's not so bad. Okay. Well, actually, I don't think this is a good idea. Let's um, make the facade pants. Figure out a different material. You can also maybe use just a. Um, more like a partition I mean frame plasterboard it's obviously not um, it's not that but I really just care about the reflectivity so 0 0.8 and a light gray that's fine and I'm going to actually use the same material for the mullion so I'm not suggesting that this are that they're made out of plasterboard uh, it really matter the only 
property matters right now is the um, is the reflectivity. Um, so I'm going to go to the mullions and also um, make them that. Okay, so I'm ready for um, what did I say? The camera, it's the n camera normal. Okay, so I'm going to do this. Um, export to radiance. Check the cameras, the normal one. Okay, and render it. What I'm going to do, I'm going to do um, this same view now with, I'm just going to play around with the material for the light shelf. So it's just going to be this material, fabric, and I'm going to select another material that um, I'm going to use maybe a mirror or a stainless steel panel and see what the difference is. Okay, so we can see some reflections happening here. Um, this is all still very yellow. It seems like we should have changed the um, exterior color as well. So let's uh, see if that was actually um, that was actually the case. So if we go to this um, and we're going to make it that color. Yes, apply changes, close and calculate again. This is correct. Okay, so there's still a lot, of, a lot of yellow and I'm not sure where this is coming from right now. But I'm not going to worry about it. it uh, I just want to actually show you the difference that the light shelf has. So I'm going to do a false color with, let's just say, 2000 again. If I do false color, the, the yellow won't bother me anyway. Okay, so here we go. We can see uh, the light shelf here, the thin line. We can see something happening on the side here and on, on, the, on the top. I may actually increase the scale. Let's see what 4000 gives us because there's a, let's just, um, Let's see what happens. Maybe it has to be less. We'll have to experiment a little bit. I think that's I think that's good. Well actually well we'll do three thousand. No, I have to say the 4000 was better. So, I promise it's the last time I'm changing it. Copy image to clipboard, Photoshop. Drop it in here and name it um, interior shelf. Um, fabric. And I'm going back to Ecotect and I'm going to select the um, light shelf. I'm going to change it to, let's see, stainless steel has a reflectivity of 0.79 and the mirror has a reflectivity of 0.83. So I'm going to use the higher one. So I'm going to use this one. Okay, and then I'm just going to 
do this again. So it's calculating the second uh, iteration with a different light shelf material, this time uh, a mirror. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to do my false overlay. I used 4000 as the scale before. Very important to do the same. So we're going to take that, copy it, insert it here. Um, this one I actually, actually delete. So now this is interior shelf mirror. So what is happening is that there is actually a significant increase in illumination because of the um, more reflective surface. All right, so this is an example where you could, you know, test different design options in order to to optimize. It really doesn't change anything on the floor, um, but it does have a pretty big impact on the um, on the ceiling, which is going to be very good for the space. <coughs> 